Okay, there are a couple of ways that you can insert a background into uh, your Google Slides. And let's look at them. Uh, right now, I want to save this presentation. I'm just going to click Save because I do not want to mess this one up. Okay, let's look at this. You have your chance for a background. You have all of these wonderful themes here. They're actually right there. Or you can create your own background. Some people don't like to create their own backgrounds. I much prefer to create my own because these are, these are for basically somebody that's a beginner that's not sure how to do their background. And you can look at the, the different slides that this theme offers and let's look here it's here and they even have a different color so this is the theme that they add I prefer to customize mine so what I do is I will go here the beginning get back here and I do not want their theme. And I will go plus and I will um, undo so I get back to where I did not pick a background. Okay. I customize the text. I customize the background. And how you do that is uh, you can either select an image and you can look for uh, Creative Commons Pink Background. So that gives us the Creative Commons license. And you can choose which one you want. You can choose that if you want, pink. And that puts it in the very back. Now you can do that on each slide or choose for all of your slides, which I always do, and just add theme. So this means that every time you want to add a new slide, it's going, it's already themed to using this background. So no matter which style you want, it's all there. Now, the other option you have is to customize your background. Customization of your background is a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to do customization using colors. And anybody that knows me knows I love color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the background, go into the color theme, and you have all ready-made colors plain, and you have gradients. So with the gradient one, I hit custom, and they start you with the gray, but you can add more color. And to add, you just continue to add. So I'm gonna do like four colors to make the rainbow. And the first color of the rainbow, I will use yellow then the next color I will use will be green then I will use orange then I will use red then I will I'm sorry that's still red I will use purple and then I will use blue Okay, now this is where you get to play where you want the colors. Do you want it here, 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 here? I kind of even them out. Now you can play in which direction. You can have them linear at 180. You can have them linear at 270 or 350. 315, sorry, 315 is my favorite. I love diagonal. 
or you can do radial. I'll show you radial as well, and this is more like the circle. And then you can play with the circle, and then it can be on the center. It can go from the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And then, I, like I stated, I prefer linear and I love diagonal. And you can change these to be lighter for the background as well. So let's go with lighter, a lighter rainbow. This rainbow is like really dark, so it's going to be kind of hard to see. Let's do that purple. Let's look at the red. I don't think there's really that much lighter. It's more of a pink. And let's see if there's a lighter orange. Yes, it's more of a lighter color. So this is more of a pastel. And then yellow. Let me get the lightest yellow. Well, yellow already is pretty light, so that's fine. And then again, you can play with it. I want a little bit more yellow. You can overlap the colors to make a whole new color. So it's a lot of fun. Now you hit OK, and if you would like that as your theme, you add to theme, and done. Now this is your customized 100%, not taken from Google, not taken from anyone else's image background. And again, when you hit, let me just move this over so you can see where I'm looking. When you hit here, you can see now it's all customized. You have the option to change it to here. You can add your other slides. Just right click under the arrow. It shows you the captions. So you have all of the styles. And this is really a great way to fully customize the backgrounds that are on your Google Slides. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial on how to make your own custom backgrounds.